has to be one of my favorite new teas. Hi guys, it's me Paige Paris, whatever you want to call me, and welcome back to another video. And today we're going to be doing a video that I don't think I'd ever really make ever. I know, what are you thinking? Why are you doing a Trader Joe's haul? I mean, a very long time ago, I did a Trader Joe's haul on my old YouTube channel. I don't know if it's still up. It was a trend or something to buy Trader Joe's and do a haul. And now that I actually decently like Trader Joe's, we might as well do another haul. Here's the thing about Trader Joe's. You can buy... Everything at Trader Joe's at a cheaper price at Publix or Walmart. But the thing about Trader Joe's, everything they make there looks so aesthetically pleasing and there's so many reviews and it's so talked about on YouTube that you just have to buy Trader Joe's, you know. Everything that I've already tried before I upload this video, I will be doing a rating on it. So that's why there's going to be ratings on some foods and that there's ratings on not the other foods. Frozen food. The reason why I'm doing frozen food is because I need to put it in the freezer and refrigerator and Trader Joe's is very far from me. So, um, I am Filipino if many of you didn't know that and the number one ice cream I really love, well, one of my favorites. If you do not know what ube is, it's a purple yam purple potato basically. It's a rare occasion to see ube ice cream, especially where I live, in which there isn't any H Marts or Asian markets nearby that I can buy ube ice cream. So we found some at Trader Joe's. Are you excited to try it? When I saw this, I was immediately freaking out and my mom was very excited as well. Look how cute this ube ice cream looks. Like honestly, the packaging is so cute. I mean, everything at Trader Joe's is so aesthetically pleasing, but. Next is another dessert, which is a mango and sticky rice spring roll. Mango and sticky rice is really good together. It's I think it's a Thai dessert. I don't know. I would never expect it would taste good in a spring roll form. So we will try someday. Next, we have shrimp tempura. What's very weird about me is I do not like seafood. I don't like eating seafood that I can be able to look at it. I don't know if that makes any sense. I, I don't even know, but shrimp tempura. <laughs> So the last time I went to Trader Joe's, I saw this gnocchi. Okay, so I went to Trader Joe's last time and this is the best gnocchi ever. Gnocchi is so freaking good. I never thought this gnocchi would taste that good. This gnocchi is the bomb.com. It is so freaking good. Now we're up to produce. In Chris Soup's video, she talked about these two specific produce items that may be very intrigued to even go to Trader Joe's in which are blood oranges and pink lemons. I couldn't find pink lemon sadly, but I found blood oranges. I do not know what blood oranges taste like. I've only tried drinks of blood orange in which it's a very bitter sour taste and it's more like a taste of a grapefruit in which I really wanna try what the blood orange hype is all about. Next we have mangoes. These next produce are really my mom's choice. I think these are mangoes. This has nothing to do with the mangoes, but I was very, very intrigued with how soft Whatever the wrapping is called, plastic wrapping you put to put your produce in, it's very soft from Trader Joe's. We also have papaya, which I do not eat either. So yeah, we have papaya. So now we got snacks. We have cheese puffs. These are basically the rundown organic version are they organic? They're not organic. They're reduced fat cheese puffs, cheese flavored corn snacks. These might taste bad, but they might taste good. I mean. So we have the organic blue tortilla chips, and which these are my mom's picks. And she also showed. We also have pineapple salsa. When I first went to Trader Joe's, I got these gummy bear, organic gummy bears. But they don't sell them anymore. Like Trader Joe's, why? So I got the second best thing, which are the other two gummies I always wanted to try, which are the soft gummy candies and assorted flavors that are called gummy tummies. Also, I got these, which are recommended by Chris Soup. And they are the mango, mango, fruit, and yogurt gummy candies. I'm so freaking excited to try these. Trader Joe's is very well known for everything flavored mango because they actually have a mango taste. 
These are just all the etc. stuff we got that can't really be put in a category. So, milk. I mean, you can buy milk at any other grocery store. I don't know if the video is already out before this one, but there is a part of the video where I said I made whipped chocolate milk because I don't like coffee and I don't have matcha. Trader Joe's helped me and I found matcha that's actually pretty cheap. Mom, they have matcha powder. I swear that every place where I live sells matcha that is so expensive in which I, I mean, matcha is pretty expensive on its own, but $3 for matcha is pretty good deal. These are just essential items. It's just Alfredo sauce and marinara sauce. Nothing goes better than this, these two sauces. So this is the end of the haul. I know this video is a little bit of a mess already than it is before, but um, thank you for watching till the end. I mean, this video is very not informative. I'm just showing you food that I have not yet tried yet, and I probably should have tried everything, but I do not want to waste food, of course. In all seriousness, I've been saying this in all of my videos. I should have said this in the beginning of the video, but we should all stay home. YouTube wants us to stay home, and you can watch all of my videos and other creators on YouTube anytime you want so please stay home so we can have this virus go away as quick as possible so I hope you guys like this video and I'll see you guys next time and bye